nobody, nigga. You ain't gonna kill shit, nigga. You nigga, you bitch, know. Nigga, fuck up. Yo, yo, blood, listen to me. Up, Look, you, hear you, hear you, hear me? you hear me? You hear me? You hear me? Nigga, you do not kill nobody. This bitch. Mr. True, this really what the fuck happened. This nigga talk to all the bitches, but mad. But be mad when I fuck to anybody. Pussy ass nigga. Look where I'm at. The hospital. My, my hip is broke. And check it out now. Oh boy, man, I gotta start this video off by addressing some of the idiots on my last video. Now, listen, man, last video I did on the story, I basically did not know what we know now. Okay, basically, Cuban doll basically now looks like Chucky doll. All right, and, and I love her. I love her. I spoke to her, by the way. Tasteless joke, I get it. But I want to give you guys a full update and I want to respond to the people who tried to blame me instead of Tato for the vicious beating. That was laid upon this young woman. Now, if you guys don't know, Cuban Doll was allegedly beat up by Tato because she was seen talking on Instagram Live with 6 9 I told you in the last video, felt a little bit bad because reportedly he may have saw it on my page. Now, some people, actually not even some, most people say, Yo, Ak, you're the reason why she got beat up and I said, blah, 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 Shrekky? Are we going to now blame what comes on TV that might trigger a nigga to beat somebody up? No, you got to blame the person who's the abuser. Are we going to blame that there's a, a traffic light that didn't go brisk breezy's way when he hit Rihanna? Or are we going to say, Chris Brown, you're a woman beater. You fucked up. Now, I see a lot of people who are fans of me or are fans of the Glow Gang or whatever they are saying, yo, well, this is savage shit. You know how to get down to Chirac. Well, let's be clear. I covered the war in Chirac for over five years. I never glorified niggas beating up women as savage. Let's, let's be clear with that, okay? That's not savage. That's actually quite pathetic. Now, here's the thing. Because Cuban Doll, I get to find out the night she got beat up. And if you're wondering, the story that is going around... Apparently, Tato pulled up at her crib, basically said, Why the fuck is you on Instagram live with this nigga? Is you fucking him? So a little tussle happened for the phone. He basically started kind of manhandling her. Basically, according to her, and this was not the doctor, she felt like one of her ribs or like her hip was like dislocated or bruised or broken or whatever the case is. But not only that, apparently he got a hold of her phone. He called 6 9 Apparently, 6 9 watched him while he was also hitting her. And it was one of those situations where he was saying, Yo, is you fucking this chick? And if you ain't gonna answer that you fucking this chick, make sure you don't call her number again. Lose that shit, alright? I kill people. Now, I just want to say this is incredibly sad. Incredibly sad, all right? You can defend Tato in this situation. I see Tato now. He's currently on Instagram, and he's kind of like making light of the situation. That's very sad as well. We got to know when to say this is fucked up and this is wrong, okay? So for the people who are blaming me, you're an idiot, okay? For the people who are blaming Cuban Doll, saying, oh, she's with every rapper, you're an idiot, Okay? For everybody who does not give Tato the blame, I don't care if he came from Chicago. Nigga doesn't live in Chicago these days. He's in the Hollywood Hills with Chief Keith. You can't be doing certain things that you usually do in Chicago, okay? By the way, he's hanging out, or he used to hang out with Cuban Doll in L.A., okay? So you're in a different landscape. You got to adjust. Now, I will say this, and this is what I was hearing, okay? Because if you don't know, Tato's from Chirac, okay? They never lack, but they don't really fuck with the cops either, okay? And one of the things that people were worried about is that, well, Cuban doll like tell the police. From what I hear, they had savages patrolling her block to make sure she's not on no bullshit in terms of reporting it. But she has made it clear via social media, I'm not hiding this shit. Tato beat my ass, okay? 
Now, she did have access to his accounts to upload the videos of her bruises, and she even had a caption to say, this is what I do to Cuban, I cheat on her and beat her ass when she talked to other niggas. Okay? I just think this is incredibly sad, but really, this video is to address all the idiots who sat back and said, whoa, we're not going to blame Tato for beating up this woman. We're going to blame her for being with another rapper like she's just tied down to one. Or... Let's blame the news reporter because he put on an Instagram page something that was public, okay? It was a saved live between 6 9 and Cuban Doll. Nigga, get the fuck out of here, okay? I I've spoken with Cuban Doll. She's feeling much better. And listen, she was smiling the last time I spoke to her, so I'm happy for her. Tato, get some help, bro. Get some goddamn help. I ain't gonna lie to you. Get the comments, please, guys. Like them, subscribe. <sighs> If it was just Tato on 6 9 we'd be having a great old time. But when there's a woman and domestic violence and abuse involved in it, much different situation. Get a comment box. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to Academics. Oh.